Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to customize KDE in 2023. Um, KDE has uh, continued to evolve and uh, the panel, um, there's the standard panel that it normally would reside on at, at the bottom of your no. display. Um, however, in this instance, I'm using uh, KAOS or K Chaos which they put the panel on the far right. So this is just an example. Uh, and of course, uh, KDE, they're all similar. Uh, however, with Chaos, they put the panel on the right. So I'm gonna first move it, and then I'm gonna change it to a floating panel. And uh, to my knowledge, the floating panel didn't exist oh, in a few versions back. So, um, I, and I've also used Plank and Latte, but it's a little bit overkill. And uh, as I've gotten older here, I'm more, I'm simplifying things, which make it easier for me as well as maybe many users. So I'll just begin by showing you, uh, you would right click on the panel, left click to edit the mo edit mode. Then you'll notice um, here it says drag to move. So you put your cursor on it, click and hold down on the mouse, drag, then pull down while you're holding on the mouse till it uh, wants to uh, go horizontally. Then what I do is I adjust the panel height a bit to 48. Just it, it'll enlarge your icons a bit. And then um, you'll notice this arrow here on the right. Um, there's also an arrow on the bottom, but I believe it's the one on the right. So I'm going to kind of shrink the panel down a bit. Uh, but I also want to center it. So this is where you go into more options. And then panel alignment, you want to hit center. Now you notice that the uh, panel has centered uh, on your display. Uh, then you can either auto hide this, the uh, floating panel or you can win uh, in how they word it windows can cover so I'm going to do it this way windows can cover it so whenever I have when I see the full uh, like a full application if I maximize the app it'll hide the panel and then the 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 neat uh, thing that they've done now is that they've added the floating panel so you click that here and now you have a floating panel um, and in addition here, now I don't use the pager, um, so I'm gonna remove it, but I do wanna add a spacer. So I'm gonna add a spacer by clicking. And now I'm gonna move this spacer so that I just wanna show the start menu on the far left, and then it pushes the remainder of the icons to the right. However, I don't want it that far over. So now I'm going to see if I can shrink this down. Let me right click on it. Uh, it gets tricky here, but let's see if I can do it. Yeah, so you, it's a little tricky there. You right click and then you uncheck the, the um, option to where you, you're able to uh, make this adjustment then start hitting the plus sign and continue pushing it out. Now I'm going to add other applications in here, so I might only go part of the way here. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to close the, the options here. And you know what I might do? Let me add in a the trash can while I'm here. So you can add widget either at the top here or right click on the panel, add widget, and then it'll pop this uh, panel out. And then I'm going to type in, actually there's two items I'm going to add. Trash is one of them. We're going to drag this and put it right next to the uh, start menu. And then I'm also going to add uh, log in or log out. So just type log and then we're going to drag this and we're going to put it on the far end if I can get it there. 
and you want to see that little hand on the panel and then release. And then I'm the peak to desktop, which is here. We're going to click. Whoop, I think I have to click here to edit further. Now I can drag it. I'm going to push it just ahead of the screen recorder because uh, this will be your status of what is running here. And then from there, we're going to grab the clock and click on your mouse, left click, drag it out, and you'll just see it just above here. And I, basically, I think I'm done with what I wanted to do right now. So I'm going to close this out. You're still kind of in an edit mode. I think I guess there's two levels of editing. So what we're going to do here is drag the panel. And if you push it all the way to the right, it'll, it'll switch off to the left. And then I'm going to bring it up as well, wherever I kind of try to center it. And then grab one of these little circles in a uh, diagonal fashion and pull it to the height that you want. And right about, right about there. And I think that's all I want to do here at the moment. So now I'm going to close this out. Close this out, and now you have your floating panel. You've got your clock here. You also have the option to log in, log out. I'm going to also tweak this by right-clicking on it, configure it, and then I'm going to just want a log out button because these buttons will get tinier and tinier, and they're it's kind of tricky to be able to click on them. And I just want log out so that it gives me full option to all these, um, you know, gives me all the actions here. So I'm going to uncheck that, uncheck that, and just leave log out, hit apply. And now you just have the log out button there. So if you click on it, you'll have, see, you'll have all those options. Um, so that's kind of how I want the panel. Uh, but now I also want to go into dark mode. So, um, to do that, um, you would go to your start menu. Oh, and while I'm here, I'm also going to change the start menu. I want the search bar at the bottom, and I just want it laid out in a more, a more simple fashion. So you can right click on the icon of the start menu, uh, then left click show alternatives, and I just want the application menu. Then click switch, and now you have a simple menu with your power buttons here and your search at the bottom. Now I can also add additional uh, power options here by just hovering over the power session and I'm going to add in sleep. So right click on it, add to favorites. Now you have the sleep button and then I'm going to click and drag and push it up and I'm also going to click and drag push the power button up and let's see, we'll do it like that. So I mainly, I do a, a lot of restarts and I do logouts by what you do the most. Um, I don't turn my computer off as frequently as, I, as some people might. So this is kind of how I want it. You can do it however way you want, but I'm just showing you. Then you also have your, uh, maybe your most frequent items in the um, favorite sections here. I'll give you one demo here. So uh, say I want to add Octopi Notifier. Uh, you would right click, add to favorites, and there it is down there. I'm going to also remove it by right click, remove. <clears throat> so now I've got the start menu the way I want it. I've got, oh, and then this is a little, I think it's like a, uh, it's a shortcut for getting to a, a KDE. Uh, I'm going to remove this, right click, unpin, left click. Um, and I was going to go into dark mode. So go to your start menu, uh, go into system settings, and we want breeze dark. And you want to click apply. Hopefully, apply. There we go. And now we have the uh, dark mode enabled. And um, what else do I want to do? I guess what I would do is go into, um, is it window management? No. Uh, I think it's still under appearance. Let me, I 
this scene. There it is. Uh, application style, I think, is what I want. Now here you have the default, and this will change the the borders and your ma minimize, maximize. And I'm just going to go with the traditional if it's here. Oh no, that's not quite what I want. Plasma style, window decorations. Uh, excuse me. Window dec decorations will change your minimum, minimum, maximize, and you can. The, it gives you a few options here. I'm going to go with the traditional plastic, I guess, how you pronounce it. Click on that, apply, and now I have your minimum, maximum, more traditional, but you can do it any way you want. And then close that out. And then say, you know, this is actually a very nice looking wallpaper, but I don't want it for my, uh, you know, my main wallpaper. So you can right click on the desktop, left click your configure desktop wallpaper. And I already had it uh, in here, but I want to show you how you would, if you want to add any image, you would click add image. Then you would most likely it would default to your pictures and then you'd either have a create a folder or a subfolder to put in your images, whatever you want. Here, I'll just show you, I have a few in here right here. Um, and you can also preview this if you enable it um, by clicking options and show preview panel. F11 gives you the ability to preview your images. Anyway, let me cancel here because I already have it. Uh, but it's not enabled. Uh, so I'm going to click. Once you click, then you want to click apply always. Okay. And now I have my wallpaper. So uh, now also, if you like to collect your your icons uh, or your, your shortcut, if you want to have things on the desktop, then you also need to go right click, uh, con left, left click configure, uh, or no, um, Configure display settings, I'm sorry. Um, no, that's not it. Unless I had it right the first time, I believe. Configure desktop and wallpaper. Uh, here you have layout desktop. So what we want to do is click here. We want folder view. And then you hit apply now. And now you'll have your uh, whatever was on the desktop, in my case, I already had these folders on the desktop. And that, I, I guess I'll elaborate. If you click desktop, here's your folders. But they weren't showing because I didn't have it configured uh, for the desktop. And that's what I just showed you. So, um, but notice the clock has been switched to the left. So let's fix that by right clicking on the panel, click, left click, edit and then just drag this back where I had it and put it how you like it. And then you've got that there, uh, the clock there. But now I want the icons in a um, uh, vertical fashion. So right click on the desktop, left click I or go to icons. Um, I also want to shrink the size of it. So we want to go smaller go back in here again icons arrange top to bottom so I also I shrunk the icons and I put them in a uh, vertical fashion and so here's your desktop uh, I guess I what I will do is add a few more um, applications in to uh, to center the panel a little bit better um, and so I'll just add in a few items that I don't have here yet. So utilities, I want to add in K-Write, uh, left, left click, uh, pinned it to task manager. Uh, what else? Um, we're going to add the Harana media player, right click, left click, pinned to task manager. Anyway, I'm just giving you some examples. So as you add the, these applications, they're going to push to the right. And so I'm just trying to establish that so you get a visual uh, of what I'm actually trying to achieve. And I think I'll just end it there, just showing you that, you know, as you add more, you can center, they're going to push to the right. And so I've created a space between 
your start menu, your trash, and your most used applications. And then um, I guess there's one other thing I forgot is these icons are a little bit small, small. And what you can do is right click on the arrow, left click configure system tray, and you want to scale with panel height. And notice that this is going to change, apply, and now they're larger matching the icons on the, on the remainder of the panel. So I think that's as far as I want to go. Just trying to show you uh, some basics of uh, customizing the panel and what you can do now or what I do in 2023. So um, hope this, I hope this helps some of you and uh, thanks for watching.